Alright, so we're doing Killjoy's newest map, Saw 3. Um, this isn't your usual map, of course, Killjoy. Thanks for that. Um, we're gonna not go for the usual, which is pack punching all weapons, getting all perks, blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna show you guys the steps on how to do this. Um, there's a lot of steps. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and be as in-depth as possible, but we're just gonna start it off quick. Alright, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna climb up this ladder. You're gonna drop down here. We're gonna grab a pistol. We'll hear the laugh. Now, we're not 100% sure what we have to do here to get it to open, but first thing you're gonna wanna do is walk into the wall so that the second door behind this door opens. Now, we think you have to shoot these red boxes, Jigsaw's face, and this red box here um, in order to get this moving, and you'll see a prompt come up, but it generally takes some, it's usually timed, we think, but you'll get it eventually. Okay, so there it is. Door comes down. Wall starts closing in on you. You're fine. Boom, we get on in. Eh. Now you're going to see this bottle here. Don't pick it up. It'll instantly down you. Look through this gate. You'll see uh, Jigsaw right there. Shoot him. Boom, opens this door. Uh, don't worry about quick revive. Next thing you got to do. So I'm going to explain this first. You're going to shoot this red box and move backwards. You can't go forwards because you'll die. So if you're doing this solo... You'll die right away. So shoot, move out of the way. There it is. Now you're in this nice big room here. So what we're going to do, get on this stone, and we're going to parkour our way over. Once I get to this one, I shoot this teddy bear in there. We're not 100% sure what teddy bears do, but we do it anyway. I'm going to try and make this as in-depth as possible. So boom, you get across, and you want to jump in here, grab the key, and then look up and hit this for a hundred and drop down backwards you have to do it you have to basically hit this post because if you don't that'll instantly kill you the red and um uh if you go the other way it usually doesn't work i think you can do it but it, it doesn't work now when you come to this you'll see these lasers here what you have to do is turn those lasers off so we just got the key basically what we do we open this door we walk up the stairs and all you have to do is shoot the red button so the red button comes down, and that, or not comes down, sorry. It gets rid of these. Now we're going to prone underneath. Come on up. Open this. Make sure you stay to the right because there's a saw here that will down you. Um, now we got a little parkour. This is kind of, this is the one that's, it, it's tricky if you don't know the trick to it. So these platforms move, uh, but you have to move with it. It doesn't move you. So you get on it, just walk with it, just walk with it. It'll stop and it actually gives you enough time to get over to the next one. And then, boom. Still gives you enough time. You just have to get over to here. Now once you get to this one, you got to shoot this. And once you shoot this, it starts moving. So I'm going to do that. Now I wait for it to pass first. And then on the way back, I jump for the door. So boom, 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 boom. Take a left. And there's your hacker. So drop down, go all the way down to here, and then turn around because there's like a jump scare thing that basically chases you. So just come to here, let it pass, and you're good. So now you have the hacker. Now hit this red button, opens this door. Now do this, it takes you back here, so you just have to prone under it. Now after that we're just going to open everything there's some things that we open that we're not 100 percent sure of that are sure what they do so we open this use the hacker and then it gets you to this room we're not sure really what is in here but that's a jump scare right there if you walk into it so we're just going to continue so what we're going to do use the hacker on this door across the way give it a second now we're going to go upstairs so our goal is to get this gate down now what happens is there's basically take a right it doesn't really matter which one not the first one because this is a jump scare you want the second one and what that's going to do is you shoot it and you run back and what it does is it opens this gate now i'm going to show you guys something real fast if you fall down you can stand here on this ledge just in case this is just if you fuck up right it goes up and then you can move across now what you do this room's useless crawl down Land on this platform, shoot that, and it'll actually bring you back up just in case you make a mistake. But you do have to shoot it again. So, boom, I love when my mouse button doesn't work. 
So now it's just simple parkour. Eh. Eh. Boom. Boom. Now we'll wait for Jason. So now you see this lock, you have to knife use. Now, for those of you that haven't played any of his maps before and this is your first map, basically it's pressing your knife and use button at the same time, literally. So kind of self-explanatory. Costs money, but that's okay. Now, what you can do, and we this is another thing we haven't really figured out. You can raise these and then there's a platform over there. You don't really have to go over there though. There's really no reason to, so we just kind of go down. The red will kill you right away, so just be careful. And it's just parkour all the way across. Now, only one of you has to do this part, which is nice. If I can get my... So, the ladder, don't go up it because there's spikes here that'll kill you. And then, again, we don't... You can get up there from those platforms, but we have there's really no reason to. So, what we do is we stay on the left side. And you don't have to jump at all. It looks like you do, but you don't. Uh, just jump, Just walk onto it angle it and then just walk keep walking treat it as if it's like a circle instead of a square you don't have to jump at all so jump across the ledge and now this is kind of the interesting part crouch get on this little ledge here stand up sprint across jump now again only one of you has to do this elevator up now crouch and then the reason you crouch and press knife here is because a razor blade comes at you and you just don't want to get hit by it so this is probably the part that it seems everyone's been stuck on. So it's not too bad. Basically, it's a test of time. So what you want to do, I'm going to say it first before I do it. Chuck a grenade over the wall. You're going to hit that terminal over there. And basically, this is going to come down. You run over, slide. There's a big X up there. You'll see it in a second. Fall down. And then over here is a button that opens the door. Um, well, not really opens. Well, Okay, it kind of opens the door, kind of doesn't. Well, I'll, I'll, you'll see. It moves a platform for you. Here's an elevator. That just drops you back down to the main room. You don't have to go back down there. So I'm going to do this real quick. Grenade. It's going to open this. Boom, boom. Sprint for it because you don't want to get hit. The purple kills you real quick. There's the X. Turn around. Boom. And good. Now your teammate can now run across. So go ahead, Jason. Jason's muted just so you know, just for uh, static reasons. But... He'll be in later. So use the hacker on this thing. Make sure your light's always turned on. There's really no reason to turn it off. Jump on the platform. You can stand on the wall just to make it easier. Another teddy bear. Still not sure what exactly we need that for. We just buy up ammo because it's good too, I guess. So prone underneath this. Jump over. Wait for Jason. Ready? Do the knife use again on this thing, this terminal here. Now what you want to do is you want to chuck a grenade in here. So bounce it off the ceiling into the bucket. Now your flashlight turns off when uh, your grenade goes, when you throw a grenade. But you want to run through here, slide underneath the, nope, guess not, fuck! I'm just going to buy grenades again because the door does close over time. Uh, I think Jason's got me just in case, but I'm going to try that again. Slide down. Yep, there we go. Buy this for 500. Ugh. Oh, no, Jason! Jason! Oh! Oh! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. So, that opens this door. So, what we're going to do is we're going to walk in. Now, open this. There's a little trick to this. Now, you can do this with one person or you can do it with two. It's a little easier to do it with two just for safety reasons. So, we're both going to come in here. So, you see these four switches, but there's actually eight. And basically, there's going to be one... There's two on each wall, and there's going to be one here and one here. Jason's going to press. So you have to knife use both of them. Uh, you can do it. Um, God, shut up. You can do both of them uh, if you're doing this alone. You just have to sprint to the one Jason's at first and then come because the floor comes out from under you from Jason's side. So I'm going to press start. We're going to boom, knife use on both of those, and we're golden. So that room's done. Now, this is probably the hardest just because, well, not hardest, but it's a little tricky. And it's a, it's because you think you can just crouch under this, but it's actually prone. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Basically, this is backwards first. So down, crouch. They crouched. Jump. Prone. Now, if you're doing this solo, you got to be quick. Uh, if you have two people, you can't, you, if you go down, you can get back up. So once you knife use this terminal, this is going to chase you all the way down and you got to make your way back. You got to haul ass. So I'm going to do it real quick, hopefully. And 
you'll hear the ka -ching whenever you hit something uh, worth getting. So prone, stand up, prone. I, that was a crouch, but whatever. Prone, prone, boom, boom. Okay. So now you get through that, you're good. That, what that does is it opens this gate here. Now you wanna knife use this. Fall down here. Now, this is, this is tricky because it confuses you. It says press F, don't press F. Just knife it and move back because another blade's gonna come across the way. Now, do that now. Perfect, we're good. So this thing, it's not tricky, it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, just get over the first one. There's not really a trick to do it. Honestly, just force your way in. I did. That's what I just did. Actually, I'm amazed that I got that first try. That took me literally. I was I was literally punching things before. I was so frustrated. <laughs> so now you're gonna come to this big room, but you don't have to do anything in here. It's actually right here on this uh, gate. You have to jump up and just knife it. And don't walk in just yet because um, the razor blade's gonna come again. And then you're on to the next part. So you want to take this elevator up. And you're going to find this room. Turn around and talk to him. And basically what's going to happen is the floor is going to open. Don't go down just yet. Do another knife. Uh, you're going to knife use this. Do you mind doing it, Jason? Just because I need some money for later. Right? It's going to open that. Grenade that bitch. It's going to blow up. Or, or not. Okay. Usually it blows up. There we go. So it's as safe to jump down for now. What happens if you don't jump down is this wall comes in and it kills you and you can't open this door, but you're fine once you do that. So now Jason's in. Now this is a tricky parkour room. This is probably the most frustrating thing so far. And uh, Killjoy, if you're listening, fuck man. So jump across, get here, get up here. I'm gonna first try this bitch. Two, over to the left, over here. Now, this is actually a ruse. It's not, it's not real. Once you get to a certain point, it just goes away. So kind of get to the edge of it and then jump onto this and it goes away just so you don't fall. So jump onto that one, jump onto the second one, but I missed it, god damn it. Boom, there we go. Holy, so jump to here. Jump to here and then see this clock here, press F on it. And what that does is it opens a door so that you both can go through. Now you're basically done with this part. The game actually turns into a zombies map after. Um, and there may or may not be a boss battle, not giving that away, but drop down here. Now what you can do, prone, shoot this for a free perk, which is really nice. Ooh, jugs too. I've been getting like shitty ones. But, and then here's power. Okay. So, uh, Jason, you back? You, you unmuted? Yep. Okay. So that's basically how you get to this point. We haven't beaten the map yet, but we know that this is kind of the, well, actually it might not even be the end, but basically once you get in here, there's a bunch of soul boxes and stuff. So if you're just looking for this part, just end the video here, but we're going to continue. So thanks for watching. If you signed off, but all right, let's bang this out, Jason. I'm just gonna explain this one because it's really fucking annoying. We've literally kept dying over and over again in this fucking zombies room. And so for now on, it's a, every time we die, we have to redo the whole parkour thing. So I'm just gonna no clip the wall for now on because fuck that, I'm not doing this 20 times. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so this is the actual zombie room. Oh, pack a punch unlocked, okay, let's go. I'll uh, spin first, I guess. Cause I don't know if you have to pay for something down there yeah, or it's just uh, games to kill. Uh, okay, you want to send it? Let's send it. Let's I send mean, it. If you want to yeah, go. yeah, yeah. Let's go. Cause it looks like it's just a walkway all the way down. We'll use that banshee that's behind you to come, come, come. Worst comes to worst. Oh, that's it. Oh my now god, we did it. Oh, there wasn't a boss battle. Oh. Thank God. Fuck yeah, and we, we didn't finally have did. To cheat. All right, all right. We, yeah, we didn't even have to use anything. Thank God.
Hey guys, on behalf of all of us, I just want to say a quick thank you for watching this video. It means a lot to all of us, especially me. If you guys like this video or enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit that subscription button, hit that like button. Also leave a comment just because I love seeing what you guys have to say, positive and negative. Um, other than that, see you in the next video.